going on YouTube? Uh, it's your boy Rock. I just wanted to um, just wanted to give my uh, input and my insight on uh, my thoughts behind, I guess, just purchasing um, the LG OLED CX um, this year for 2020. I was looking at that Vizio P series Quantum X and it dawned on me that if I was going to spend upwards of $2,000 for that 75 inch, then I might as well just go ahead and get, um, get an OLED. Um, I'm coming from a 2011 Samsung, uh, 3d TV, um, 1080p it's 47 inches. And I was just like, you know, it's about time next gen is, you know, coming out soon and it's upon us. And I was, I was like, you know what, let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and future proof. Um, I had also bought a 2007 LCD TV that I had for 10 years from Samsung, and it was amazing. I spent 2,500 bucks on that sucker, and it lasted a long time. It lasted 10 years, and it was amazing. Um, it, it, it died on me. I tried to get it fixed. It lasted another three months, and it died on me again, so I was stuck with my 47-inch uh, other Samsung, and I still have that one. But now that the consoles are upon us as well, I just decided to go ahead and, and future proof. And so um, I was doing a lot of research. The Vizio really looked appealing. It looked like something that I could really uh, enjoy. And I started doing my research and, you know, just looked even more tempting as I did research. But come uh, as we progress to the release, um, they, Vizio just started looking a little suspect to me. It started looking like maybe they weren't going to put out the 65 inches on time and they really weren't forthcoming with the uh you know where they were going to have free sync and so my whole thought process was okay well if i'm going to spend in two thousand dollars since they don't have a fifteen hundred dollar 65 inch i might as well start looking at oled um, i looked at sony um, i looked at samsung samsung doesn't have a lot of the features that uh, sony and lg have and you're paying a premium so um just my thought process was okay well Vizio has they support you know Dolby Vision HDR of 10 HDR 10 plus and I was like well I mean if I'm gonna spend upwards of two thousand dollars I would like my TV to have all those formats and support it you know and Samsung did not and they only have HDR 10 plus even though their their picture is immaculate at two thousand dollars I started thinking okay OLED is looking even more tempting and then you start hearing about the brightness levels is it bright enough well, I have a window to my left, as you're looking at this uh, video, I have a, a window with full brightness, with the sun coming through. And I mean, it's still, this is, you know, 12 o'clock during the daytime and it is completely bright. It's more than bright enough, um, you know, for day to day. And this is at like 80% OLED light. So I can go even higher than this. And also as far as gaming, I mean, this TV also has those four uh, HDMI 2.1 ports on the back. I mean, you guys know the specs. I know you've, you've seen all the videos that are on YouTube, but I mean, as far as gaming, this is this is next gen ready, and I'm going to be getting the PS5. I'm going to be getting the Xbox Series X, and I mean, I'm just I'm wild. I used to be an avid gamer, and now as an adult, you have to you know prioritize and all that kind of stuff, and it's you know it's a little daunting sometimes, but I'm ex I'm ecstatic to have this TV. Um, I mean, OLED, there's this, I don't know if there's any other technology currently that, at least for the next five to seven years, that's going to be on the same same uh, playing field as OLED. Um, the self-lighting, uh, self-emissive uh, pixels, they're amazing. And, um, I mean, you just get some of the sharpest image quality that you can get. And I am ecstatic about um, the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. I'm going to get both of them. Um, I do see that PS5 has better games, and I'm looking forward to playing a lot of those uh, adventure games and action games. Um, the Xbox might have uh, a leg up as far as picture quality, but as far as games are concerned, PS5 it is for me. Um, but and it's for movies, I'm going to keep a 30, 30,000 foot view. This TV is amazing. When I watch movies, um, I've played some games. i played Modern Warfare on this thing. I mean, it just for the, my needs, this TV is hitting on all cylinders. And if you have never had a CX OLED, uh, my advice to you is to give it a try. I had the 48 inch for a little while because everybody was talking about the pixel density. Um, but I mean, this 65 inch that I have, it's still, I mean, just as clear and uh, the image is so sharp and it's more than bright enough. I mean, they say it's only about 700 to 800 uh, nits of brightness. It's more than enough. At night, I find myself having to turn down the brightness um, when we're watching movies and playing games and it's more than enough. 
Um, I also got a warranty. So if you're a little skeptical about purchasing this TV because you're, you know, thinking about the burn in and all that kind of stuff, just, um, you know, it's, it's worth the investment to go ahead. If you're, especially if you're a first time OLED buyer, to just go ahead and get the warranty. If you've been around the block and you know how to maintain OLED and, um, uh, all the technology that comes with it, um, then by all means, you don't need to have the warranty if you know how to take care of it. I have a Samsung Galaxy uh, Note 8. It's got an OLED screen, although it's a different technology. Uh, it's AMOLED. It still can burn in. And so, you know, you still have to be cognizant of that. And I've learned how to take care of that. I've had that phone for three years, no burn in. So, um, well, that being said, I mean, this, this TV is uh, definitely one of the best TVs, if not the best all around TV that you can get for the year. And um, I really was gunning for that Vizio. Um, you're looking at one of the best TVs to purchase. Um, this one was $24.99. And then another, uh, I got a five year warranty with Best Buy. And also, if you're looking at getting um, a warranty, you need to be looking at um, Best Buy. Um, some of the other warranties do not cover burn in. And so um, this is definitely, you know, the, the warranty to get with Best Buy. So, uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll be doing more, uh, more videos on my TV if things come up or things, um, that I want to point out is also, um, I might be doing some gaming and, um, uh, sound bars and other technology, but I just wanted to give my insight on my purchase for 2020. I have not purchased a TV since 2011. And so this is my reasoning, uh, for getting the, uh, the 2020 LG CX OLED. And I hope you guys are doing well. Stay safe during this uh, crazy time with coronavirus and uh, game on.